Well, I, I just wanted to have um, an a therm as thermally efficient home as I could as I could afford, I guess. Just doing some research, I kind of decided I wanted to stop all the thermal bridging that I could, and so so I decided to wrap my house on the outside with a couple inches of, of foam. And then once I took that step, I decided the next important thing would be to decide, you know, the, the best windows that would that would make up. I didn't want to lose all this energy out my windows if I was going to spend the money on the foam. So I took my CAD floor plan, imported it into that, and then like extruded it up and cut out my windows. Mm -hmm. And it does sun modeling. Oh, AutoCAD cool. probably does too, but this was easy. Because right. then you could export it from it straight to Google Earth. And then so we could look at it like Fun. in oh, Google Earth, right. like the actual where the house was. Yeah. And so, very cool. so I looked at the angles of the sun quite a bit and thought of, you know, we talked about turning the house. And So a little bit about our window, uh, it's a fiberglass window, so full fiberglass frame. Uh, they're all insulated as well. Makes our windows different than everybody else besides the quality fiberglass frame is it's a dual pane glass with a suspended film in the middle. So that's how we achieve higher R values. Uh, the one Thomas has here for his job are our 525 series, which is our entry level series. Uh, the average R value between sliders, hungs, and fixed windows is going to be about an R5. Uh, most manufacturers, as you've noticed, probably top out at about a three, three and a half, you were noticing. So where they top out at a three, we start at five and go on up to a ten. Low solar heat gain basically blocks out the sun. You're blocking out the heat. A high solar heat gain lets a little bit more of that heat in the sun. You'll typically do a high solar heat gain like on southern exposure. Uh, you want to have like a, about a 15 foot eave though, because if you get too much sun on that high solar heat gain window, it's going to cook you out in the summertime. So your climate's a lot like Colorado. In Colorado, mostly I sell low solar heat gain. It's just easier. That yeah. Way, so. But when you get into the passive house stuff, they do a lot of directional tuning and they'll set the house specific, you know. Yeah. And I wanted to do that, but I couldn't turn my house and be looking away from the view. Right. right? So. <laughs> Yeah, all low solar heat gain, so we're not getting, we're not going to take any of the high solar heat gain into effect. Um, they're going to be a real nice complement to the thermal luck. We're getting ready to install some Alpin 525 series windows. They're a six by six window, so we've already installed the thermal buck. The distance from the edge of the window to the flange is two inches and we're resting this on two and a half inches of thermal buck so we'll be completely outside the frame wall opening by a half of an inch and the weight of this window will be completely supported on thermal buck. Go ahead and tilt it in. Tilt it in. We're, we're beautiful on all three sides. Uh, everything comes shipped just like you see whether we're shipping right down the street from our plant or coming this far away everything's going to have the two by four bucks with handles. Well but ideally what we like you to do when you're going to the install is take them by the handle to the, to the hole you're going to so they don't get wrapped and everything and un, un, unwrap them at that point. Yeah, take them out of there. The reveal look all right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I know we can't move, but how's the, want to open it? How's the sash look? Looks good. I bet we're good. Nice outside. Nice inside. Cool. They equate like your altitude and relative temperature your, uh -huh. and when they bake the windows and when they fill them there's you know computer program says you need X amount of gas so, you know you would get something different than they would you know 10 miles down the road even. Uh, most of your windows are going to ship with what's called an open breather tube so depending on where they're built in altitude when you get the gas in there your windows are going to expand and contract and transport typically a company will just ship this tube open 
So the gas that's in your window here, in this case it's argon gas, that just is gone, kind of, not all of it, but what, you know, when the window expands, a lot of that gas leaks out. We just have these mylar balloons that are attached to them. So as we're going up and down passes, much like a bag of potato chips, if you've ever gone to the mountains and that bag of potato chips blows up, these bags will get bigger and that gas will get in there. When they get to on the site, get acclimated, but a little bit of gas is in here, typically goes back into the window. Sometimes you'll see some of them are a little full or some are not. It just kind of depends on what the window needs. That gas just goes back in there. After we install them, we'll clip these off and tuck that under there. Grip them up close, close as you can. A pair of snips or a pair of dikes, either way. Cut it off like that. And you just take this breather tube and normally use a little putty knife and you just tuck that tube back up under the frame like that. Two inches seem like a good, easier to work with than something thicker, but better than one inch. You know, like if I'm gonna do it, one inch just didn't seem like it'd be worth it. So, so kind of settle on two inches and then looking at. I mean, you can get some pretty cheap stuff that's like an R8 or 9 um, for $10 less a sheet. But if I'm going to do it, then I might as well try and get the best R value. So the, the foil faith polyiso seem like it has the best R value. I'm really happy with them. I, cool. I feel like they, they went in really well. The bucks. Yeah, the bucks are great. I I really yeah. like how it goes in there. That's now, right and now that you've installed some window and thermal buck, what are your... I like it. I uh, I mean, the wood, you know, you, maybe it's a little easier because you're just banging it out square cuts mm -hmm. and whatnot, but still, this is so user-friendly. Mm -hmm. I definitely like it. As for install, just wood versus this, yes. Yeah, I like it a lot better. And again, the performance is what we're after, which are going right. to be way better performance. So.